Hello. So we've gotten about six public safety announcements on my phone and my watch. So I'm out here just preparing the inside of the cook for the chickens. Let me show you. I put more shredded wood at the bottom of the coop a lot and at the top and as soon as I put it down in there they would just in there just start sifting in it so they were happy I got one egg today and now I'm about to try to go up here and strap down this one empty part of this tarp right here <sighs> see if I could pull it or strap it down or or do something water is still going to leak in there but I'm doing my best to make sure the tarp don't be flopping around and I'm gonna try to tie it down over here too. But yeah, as soon as I put some more fresh uh, shredded wood in there, look at them, they are kicking it out. That's okay. But at least it'll be dry in there for them. Um, it rains, even though I have tarps up, the rain still comes through, but I notice in here, inside the coop, it is basically, uh dry so one of the uh, one of the lavenders done went up there and she kicking out the stuff i tell you that's it that's just a quick update on what's going on we have storms coming in tonight i saw some clouds overhead now it's sunny but those clouds are going to come in tonight and um sorry she just she is just sifting out all that stuff i just did anyway There is a lavender in there kicking out the uh, the wood and the buff is like, what are you doing? She put that in there for us. But they're like, ooh, fresh shredded wood. But she is straight kicking it out. I don't know, you guys. I'm trying to, when that storm hit, when that storm hit, y'all gonna wish. And there must be ants or bugs or something right there because they're always picking at it and they're eating them and I'm like whatever and enjoy but um yeah <laughs> hilarious anyway that's it I'm gonna get finish getting that tarp and then I'm going in the house I make sure they have enough food um, enough water um, for this storm to come in and um, I would take this off. I have a big old braid that keeps falling down right here. But every time I wear my hair down, they kind of jump up and like pull at the braids, which is hilarious. Anyway, okay, that's it. I'm just um, kind of prepping the coop for them. And uh, that's it. I'll leave this video looking at the chickens. Something else I did yesterday is that I cleaned out a lot of junk um, from this area. I'm slowly cleaning out the junk out my yard. Let me show you. This was full of junk right here. Okay, now I just have like containers of super juice and buckets. And then I had some junk right here. Got it up. And this is the chicken coop. And um, oh, let me show you what else. At first, this door wouldn't close all the way on this little shed, so I cleaned it out, threw some things away that I knew I wasn't going to use, and now it's able to close better that way. Hopefully, a rat won't get in there, but they know how to get into small crevices. But yeah, um, as it is, rodents know how to hide in all kind of places in the garden but I'm trying to reduce their hiding places. And my chickens have been a lot more calmer. Let me show you. This one, she whines a lot. I don't know why she whines a lot, but she whines a lot. I, I, the, in fact, one of the brown ones, she's whining so much, was trying to peck at her. You know, it's kind of like, shut up. But anyway, yeah, I'm slowly getting rid of um, lots of junk in the yard that I don't need. Um, when you first start gardening, you tend to buy a lot of things. And now I'm realizing there's a lot of things that I don't need. Old wood containers that are just breaking down. So I could only fill up my garbage container 
so much and if I overfill it they'll take a picture give me a warning if I do it again they'll charge me for um, overfilling because the weight is too much so um, also let me show you um, remember all the seedlings that were here some I have to throw out and the lettuce I put in the cage <laughs> and they have been eating it they have been eating it they've been very happy to eat it that chicken's eating nuts and raisins off the ground. Yep, see, she's eating. She's eating right now. They dig in the dirt and eat. So, yeah, I just put it in there. There was no use. There was no need to waste any lettuce. So, I just put it in there, and they're enjoying it. They're loving it. And this one is just decided to pick in there. But when it starts raining, which will be tonight, at least it will be a little bit drier in the coop. And when it starts coming down, they usually either go to the top, they're learning to go to the top, or they'll go under here at the bottom. And then they just relax and chill. And then they have water, they have food right there. And then they have waters if they want to come out and drink water. I was able to take that tarp and kind of pull it and strap it just a little bit more, but not but not much more, but I was able, sorry, too close. I was able to kind of pull that tarp a little bit more. So that is it, I'm done. I'm going in the house, I'm going to shower. I have been in and out with the chickies all day, trying to just prep them up a little bit, just make sure they're safe. There's nothing really else I could do, they're chickens. And um, that's it. As I always say, please find peace within yourself and please be peaceable with each other. I love you all. Have a fantastic day. Bye.